guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel real deal is looking rough today um you know not a shower today definitely do with one but we're not here to talk about the real deal's personal hygiene we're here to talk about the next void guaranteed legendary and you know i've been doing my homework and this is the perfect time for us to start saving up those void shards for the next void guaranteed I mean, to be fair, I've been saving for a long time right now, and I've got a feeling that it's probably going to drop November 2024. If we look at the pattern that Playroom have been following, that is what's going to be happening. Let's take a trip down memory lane, check out all the uh, void guarantees that we've had in the past, and we're going to kick it off with Rio Bone Spear. So she was an incredible void guaranteed. Um, you know, she cleanses, she drops an insane amount of debuffs, and she slaps. She was god tier for Arena. She's great for actually all PvE content. Someone once said to me, if you're struggling in something, throw in Rio and it becomes a breeze. Um, but yeah, so she dropped in April 2022 and she was at 90 Void Shards. That is a hundred percent worth. Um, incredible. Next on the list. We've got a not so incredible barbarian. It's a turd vault. And I've never been a fan of this guy. Um, he does hit hard. He's a single target hitter though. Um, very, very good for PVE, like clan boss and stuff like that, but and does hit hard. But I feel like for arena, not so good. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Every time I've come up against one, I've always smashed him into the ground. And he just, I don't know, he just doesn't do it for me. So he was August 2022, and he was 80 Void Shards. Next, we've got uh, Forticus from Night Revs. And he's terrible. I just feel like there's nothing good to say about this guy. Um, even with that buff he had, he's still sitting in people's vaults. Um, but yeah, so he dropped October 2022, and he was also 80 Void Shards. So... They dropped us three Void Legendaries in 2022. That is very, very generous for Plarium. And they were pretty cheap as well. However, obviously, price went up. And the I guess the, the release rate definitely went down as well, um, unfortunately. So if we head over to February 2023, we get Chagor. And this guy, I've actually got him on my account. I don't use him for anything. I think he'd be pretty good for like an early, like early mid game account, good for progression, um, brings a lot of wave control, but you know, his problem is that he throws out all these poisons and then every time the enemy takes a turn, he's popping off of his A1 and he just slows down runs. So he's not good for speed runs. Um, arena, he can be good, but you need to bring in a stripper with him and with stone skin and cleansers, they kind of make him redundant. So not good for arena defense can be good for arena offense but again being an attack champion as well you have to sacrifice that attack for accuracy to land his poison so i feel like he's he's not that great to be honest i'm not a huge fan i still like him but he's not great he's not great and he was 110 void shards so we can see the price definitely went up and 110 shards will probably take you about four months to save up as a free to play and then we've got Valkanen. So he is undead, and I wish I'd save this guy. Um, I feel like a lot of people sleep on this guy, or he's underrated. Um, he is so good with Wukong. You can make some insane team comp with them too. Sacrifices the Wukong. Obviously, Wukong, Wukong comes back. But Valken, he can just, yeah, he just bursts people down, like does some insane damage. Really, really like him. Very, very interesting champion. And a great addition to the game. So he was November 2023. And he was 100 Void Shards. And then we've got the best one who I missed. My biggest mistake. Um, to be fair, I used to really undervalue um, Void Guarantees. I used to skip them. And now I'm like looking back and I'm like, what was I thinking? There were some really, really good champions up for grabs. Like Rio would have been insane. Actually, it's just, yeah, Vio, Vio, Rio, Valkanen, and Narcissist. 
Narcissist, Narcissus. Um, they were definitely the ones I should have gone for, like Narcissus as well. I, d I dig his vibe. Like he's a cool looking guy. And obviously he's insane. Um, he does like incredible AOE damage. And yeah, like I just, I've seen him drop so many teams. And of course you pick him up with Ancora. You just become like unbeatable. If I see this team in Tag Arena, for me, it's a skip. I will always skip it because I know it's going to be a hard fight. But he is, he's probably, at, no, he's not probably, he is the best champion on this list by a mile. Absolute God tier, full God mode. Um, I wish I had him on my account. But yeah, so he came obviously February 2024 and he was 110 void shards. So I'm going to say you always want to keep 120 voids because you never know if they're going to increase that, pro uh, you know, the cost of living always going up. So it might go up to 120. And just looking at the pattern, it's got to be November 2024. The next void legendary is going to be coming out. So let's, I just want to see if we can try and guess at who it might be. Banner Lords, nah, definitely no one from here. Definitely not going to be Taris. Um, even though he would kind of fit, I feel like he would fit the pattern. No one from High Elves that I could see them drop in. Sacred Order, actually maybe Verterus. I could see them maybe potentially putting him out. Um, but yeah, no one from, yeah, if we scroll down a little bit, I think maybe from someone from one of the newer factions. But yeah, there's no one from Shadowkin that I could see them drop in. Uh, the Watchers, maybe Alil. Um, there's potential with him, but yeah, I don't know. He, I don't think he's that good. Um, Night Revs, Gorgrid would be good. I could see them doing that. I could see Gorgrid being one of the ones up for grabs. Um, like he's an attack champion, sort of does fit the pattern before. They've also done quite a few Night Revs as well, so he would fit into that category. And is there anyone else? Demon Spawn, Anithwi. I could see them doing a Nifui, um, but looking at it, like, I don't know, a Nifui, he's, like, incredible, like, a great counter to Wukong and just the revive mail, and he does slap. But looking at, sort of, the past, um, they usually do do newer champions. So if a champion gets released that's Void Legendary, then they will probably be the one that's up for grabs. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be a HP champion, a HP Nuka, and all these champions almost are really good for arena especially rio valkanen and narciss so yeah i feel like they usually do drop a champion that's going to be god tier for the arena but also um yeah they they're really good for arena they probably are going to be like a nuka and i'm going to say the next one is probably going to be a hp champion i'm hoping it's going to be a hp champion because that's what i need to mark down i need hp nukas uh, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I will also share my little spreadsheet for you guys so you can see, um, you know, so you, you guys can have a look yourself, make your own decision. But yeah, now is the time to start saving because we're in August now. So it's August, September, October, November. So four, three months. And that's how long it's going to take you to save up all these void shards for that guaranteed. So yeah, definitely make, start, you d uh, definitely make sure you start doing it, guys. Let me know in the comments below who you think might be the next void guaranteed and i'll catch you all in a video soon peace